Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome to a video about Resident Evil 4, specifically the PSVR 2 mode content, whatever the hell it is, for Resident Evil 4. And the reason I wanted to make this is I've been looking through the trailers that were released, PSVR 2 trailers that came with the state of play that we all enjoyed recently, obviously Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 8, No Man's Sky, Horizon, Saints and Sinners, there we go, that's what it was, Chapter 2, I nearly forgot but I didn't. I think maybe as excited as everyone was that the fact that Resident Evil 4 was getting at least some form of PSVR 2 support, maybe we were all feeling a little bit disappointed, I was, that they didn't actually show anything other than like a bit of text at the end of the screen, at the end of the trailer saying, you know, PSVR content in development. However, on rewatching this again in slow motion towards the end of that, right before the text appears on screen. And I'm just gonna start it from this. I'm gonna go frame by frame because you have to see us frame by frame. It's kind of a blink and you'll miss it thing. Basically, I believe that they do show us some screenshots of first person virtual reality gameplay. Well, maybe gameplay or in engine or whatever at the end of this trailer. So what I'm gonna do is pause up. I'm not gonna play the whole thing again. I'm gonna go frame by frame here. You can see Leon standing in the woods. Now watch what the camera does here. As I go frame by frame, I'll just tap it a few times. It's zooming in on Leon. The color kind of changes. It's getting right up to him. You know, I feel like what that angle is showing is that we're entering Leon. Not like that. In a virtual reality sense, we're stepping into his shoes. And then there's like a series of flashes of images, which we'll show here, where we're looking through his eyes now, I think. I think this is a tree line, like you're looking up at trees. Could be wrong on that one, but let's keep playing. No, it's not a tree line. There's trees there, but I don't think you're looking up. I think it's a path. And then it cuts to the next image. It's all very blurry and whatnot. He's approaching the cabin, which you see that earlier on in the trailer, in the third person view, you're watching Leon walking towards it, whereas this time it looks like you're looking through his eyes as he's coming towards the cabin. And he's at the door of the cabin. Like, just to look at the angle. Like, the door isn't nicely in framed like it would be if it was third person. This is like a first person kind of raw view, if you know what I mean. Like, the whole door isn't in view. A certain aspect of it is. We'll keep going. The next scene, if you want to call it, is the interior of the cabin where the, uh, the first Ganados would be. And then we cut again to a bridge and this one in particular screams first person it's like a blood trail on the bridge just the way the angle is it looks a bit lower down than maybe you might expect it just looks like you're looking through his eyes you know see where the ropes are it looks like those are at the right perspective uh, for first person and the fact that these are played right before the VR announcement I mean it all screams a virtual reality to me approaching this gate as well again we're not seeing any characters we're just seeing the environments and maybe enemies and whatnot crows in this instance so I do think you're looking through their eyes and then we cut forward again and we see an enemy and the enemy is like crouched in a you know it's like he's looking right into at the camera he's crouched he's ready to engage ready for combat so this looks like it could be gameplay a still a screenshot of gameplay and then we have this what is this just looks like part of the village really you can see kind of the fence to the left some buildings but the it's like a big glare, so it's hard to really see much. And then there's a big white glare again, which I think indicates that we're leaving Leon. Yeah, see, like we see him from behind now. And that's when the message appears on the screen. PSVR, con PSVR 2 content also in development. So what I take from this is all the screens that we saw, they were all of the same scenes that we saw in the main trailer. So I do have faith that this content isn't just a mode or something like that i think it will be the full game playable based on that because it's showing us all the story beats the locations and whatnot not concrete obviously i think we can also expect maybe combats and stuff like that because we saw the enemy in the woods so you know it's not just if you're paranoid it's like you know a character viewer like tekken what tekken did you know it looks like it might be more than that so that's just a little find maybe this is common knowledge or whatever but when something i spotted when i was rewatching, i wanted to see it in closer detail and i noticed this and i feel like you know pretty big deal you know so anyway that is it for this video let me know what you thought about us in the comments below if you liked us maybe subscribe 
we're going to be covering PSVR 2 on this channel all the way into the next generation and hopefully beyond. And uh, maybe hit the old like button, you know, give it a like, help me out. And with that, I'll end this video. Thank you, Decepticon, for letting me use your music in all the video. Check them out, Decepticon.com. You can join me in the Discord, blah, blah, blah. All them links are in the description below. And I'll end the video there. Thank you very much.